hello friends welcome back in this lecture we will be seeing how to post the entries of payment related to tds in tally so first of all from display i am opening the company supriyansh infotech the same company we were doing the work in so in this i am going to display from here you have to go to statutory reports tds and here you can see tds outstanding so from here we have to change the period i am selecting the current period and you can see we have tds payment pending and this is up to amount 8000 so we have to make a tds payment entry for rupees 8000 now see how you can post this entry i am going going to accounting vouchers now from here select payment voucher and i am changing the date now on 2nd april i am making my payment of tds in this what you have to do as we were doing in the previous lectures you have to select start payment over here as you select the start payment you have to describe the tax type and the nature of payment you are doing so we are making the payment of tds and we are making the payment for 1st april 2020 Second April two thousand twenty because we had posted the transaction for these two days only, and we are deducting the till date. The section applies is one ninety four C. This is payment to contractors and deductive status is all that is for company and non company as well. Now the residential status is a resident, and we are deducting or payment are making through IDBI Bank Limited. so i am as i selected the bank you can see the all the transaction related to payment of tds bill wise detail is furnished here and you need not to post any of the entry by your own all the entries had been shown in the ledger by itself so i am accepting the screen and you had posted your entry for tds now when you go to the reports and you see here the tds reports chalan reconciliation statement a entry is posted here which was not available before making the payment so as we had done in the bank reconciliation we have to reconcile this entry with the bank statement and for reconciliation what you have to do you have to press f5 and then you have to put here the details of your check bsr code chalan number chalan date and voucher number and the bank name like i am providing idbi bank the branch name and all the other uh, details as required for the reconciliation when you reconcile this it will be erased from chalan reconciliation statement now is this clear to you in tds outstanding now we can see there is no more payment left in tds outstanding statement now if i go to my form number 26q then i can see here the tax deductible amount is 8000 and the total balance deductible here is zero now this is all about your tds payments and your tds statutory reports hope you are clear with all the concepts of tds 